Welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another thrilling aviation episode. Air Marshal G.S. Beatty, a renowned fighter jet pilot and experienced crew member, recently participated in a YouTube interview with Def Talks. During the interview, he provided insights into the recent Tejas aircraft crash in Rajasthan, which marks one of the first crashes involving an aircraft from the Tejas family since its production commenced 20 years ago. Numerous questions have emerged regarding the circumstances surrounding the Tejas aircraft crash and the potential causes of failure. Air Marshal Adepli addressed these concerns by outlining possible scenarios that could have led to the crash. His expertise shed light on the complexities involved in such incidents and provided valuable perspective on the aviation community's understanding of the event. At the outset, Tages lacked a simulator and a trainer aircraft for initial training. However, pilots were provided with simulation trials before flying the Tages aircraft. Initial reviews indicated stability during flight, with the aircraft maintaining a straight glide. However, there was an incident where the aircraft experienced an engine malfunction, prompting the pilot to eject safely. The decision to eject was made as a precautionary measure, considering the aircraft's low altitude and steep descent angle. With the aircraft's altitude dropping rapidly, attempting to balance and land, it was deemed too risky. Ejecting ensured the pilot's safety as deploying a parachute at such low altitudes could have been disastrous. He chose to eject to ensure a safer distance from the ground. The aircraft is at an angle of less than 3 degrees during the approach. At a height of 100 meters, the aircraft is nearly 20 times its length away from the ground. This means the touchdown point will be approximately 4 kilometers ahead. However, as the altitude decreases, the approach becomes too short due to the rapid descent rate. Consequently, the pilot opts to eject rather than attempt to stabilize the aircraft for a ground landing. If he had not ejected, there's a high probability that his parachute would have deployed at that low altitude. Investigations revealed the engine malfunction was likely due to lubrication issues or other technical faults. Such split-second decisions underscore the potentially catastrophic outcomes that can result from technical failures. The pilot involved was highly experienced and well-trained for airshow displays, suggesting timely decision-making. Nevertheless, accidents can stem from technical glitches, human errors, or unforeseen circumstances like bird strikes. Air Marshal emphasized the importance of pilots being trained for emergency situations, including ejecting from the aircraft when control is lost. Despite advancements in technology, technical issues remain unpredictable, necessitating ongoing learning and improvements in aircraft systems. Recently, on March 28, the Tejas MK-1A aircraft completed its inaugural flight at the Bangalore station, marking the dawn of a new, advanced version of the Tejas aircraft. This iteration boasts enhanced avionics and improved aircraft structure. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about Tage's crash in the comments section.